Next on Wood Songs, two icons of Roots music come together. It's Tim O'Brien and Daryl Scott. I wish that I could hold to you when tis done. Plus from Allison Krauss and Union Station, it's Ron Block with special guest Sierra Ho. Would you walk a while with Farmin' John on the road to Fennel Fair? For a love the laugh of a ginger lass with a thistle in her hair. Wood Songs is made possible by Visit Lex.com, providing information and activities to visitors of historic Lexington, Kentucky. The Martin Guitar Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, making handcrafted acoustic guitars since 1833. The Deering Banjo Company, providing American-made banjos for front porch pickers and professionals online at DeeringBanjos.com. And by Fransky String Instruments of Prairie Village, Kansas, online at MFStrings.com. His name is Hank Williams. From the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hucker, Michael Jonathan. It was 1940, and a very strange thing happened to Woody Guthrie. As he was living in New York City, he got something he never got, and that was an invitation to write some songs. He did it for the Bonneville Power Company all the way across America in the Pacific Northwest. And in 30 days, he wrote an incredible 27 songs. Some of them were the most brilliant of his career. One of them was about the migrant workers that uh, were working for the Bonneville Power Company and all across the West at the time. He wrote a uh, ballad in honor of them I heard a wonderful rendition of this Woody Guthrie song by an amazing Kentucky banjo player named Dave Evans. And then later on, on an album called Paper Airplane by Allison Krauss and Union Station, the great Ron Block and Dan Tominsky did a wonderful rendition of this song as well. We're going to do our rendition of this beautiful ballad about the workers of America as written by Woody Guthrie with the Hippie Chick Strings. It's a mighty hard road My poor hands have hold My poor feet have traveled This hot, dusty road Out of this dust bowl And westward we roll Your desert was hot and your mountain was cold A California, Oklahoma We gathered all your crops And it's up north to Oregon Where we gathered your hops We dig the beat from your ground and the grapes from your vine Just to set on your table that light sparkling wine Green pastures of plenty from dry desert ground from the Grand Coulee Dam Where that water runs down Every state in this union Us migrants have been And we come 
with the dust and we go with the wind And welcome to the historic Lyric Theater. Here we are in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're at the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city to the magnificent Appalachian Mountains, where so much of this art comes from. We liken this folk world, this grassroots world, to a, a beautiful diamond of many different facets. It's folk and blues. It's bluegrass, country, Celtic, old-timey, new singer-songwriters. We celebrate it all here. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very very good. And that concept is merging on our broadcast tonight with two separate uh, uh, artist groups, if you will, two duos that are on our stage tonight celebrating new releases. The first group up are uh, the merging of two titans of Roots music, if you will. They, they, they both have separate careers. They've come together for their second album that they've done together. We've got a beautiful song that they're going to start off with. It's the title cut to their brand new album. It's called Memories and Moments. Please welcome the great Daryl Scott and Tim O'Brien to the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Back again, back, again. back 
to the top. Go on and pray that it will live. Oh, but it'll never stop. It's waiting there. Up around the bend. The river flows. There's love in me Yes, there's love in you And with a broken voice Our song is true In these memories and moments In these memories and moments In these memories And Title cut from their brand new CD, Memories and Moments. Daryl Scott and Tim O'Brien. Let's say hey to Daryl Scott, Kentucky boy from London, Kentucky. Hello. Nice to have you back. It's, a, it's kind of a neat thing. Both of you guys have been on the show a couple times each before, and so it's nice to see you again. It took Thanks. 13 years for you and Tim to get back together to do another duet album. What takes so long? Well, uh... We have a lot of music in us, and it passes in all kinds of different ways. We played with other folks through some of that. Mark Knopfler for Tim and and uh, You were Robert on the Plant. Robert Plant tour. Which yeah, is and uh, good thank for you. you. And also, uh, you know, just doing solo projects, and, you know, there's a lot of great music out there, and uh, I think we gravitate toward that, and then mm -hmm. if it was 13 years... That's what it was, and uh, it was worth the wait, I think. Like a fine wine, the album's good, worth waiting for. Tim O'Brien, let's say hi to Tim, West Virginia boy. So, so you and Daryl decide after 13 years, hey, it's time to, let's do another album together. So what's the process like? Do you, do you already have the songs written, or do you come and you write them brand new together? What's, that, what's the work? Well, it's all kind of different ways, Michael. I think... Um most of the stuff that I brought to this to the project was from earlier years, and uh, kind of saving up for this one, I guess. Um, we wrote one song together um, that we'll sing later, and uh, there was writing. I guess there are more recent songs that you wrote, but you know, it's just like we we just kind of uh, put put songs out there and asked each other if we liked them, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we picked one to start with, and then we'd pick another one to do to follow it up with. Just now, very following follow your nose style. Uh, the album sounds like you've been playing them together forever. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really well done. The, uh, the, the process for a lot of artists is they take it on the road and they work the songs for quite a while before they, they record them. So we, we, why do you think you guys are uniquely comfortable with each other? Because you recorded this album fast. In just three or four days, you were done. Well, you know, it's, it's funny. We're, we're both... Uh, songwriters and stuff and but we're also instrumentalists and play uh, sessions for other people kind of I think we both grew up kind of learning stuff fast and hillbilly jam sessions <laughs> and uh, kind of know how to think on our feet I guess so it kind of just falls together pretty easy yeah we have a uh, we listen really well to one another and in fact we listen really well when we're playing with other folks too but there's something about the chemistry uh, with us it happens in the vocals it happens in the playing and it even happens in the writing, uh, whether we're working on something together or, you know, something that I bring in or... Uh, I don't know, there's just something about it that it brings out, that feels like it brings out the best in us. You know, there's in something music. unique about family harmonies, and, and I, I listened to your album, I was doing some concert dates in North Carolina, driving home, turned, put the, put the album on, listened to it for, you know, a couple times in a row, and you guys have this uniquely uh, uh, brother-type uh, harmony vibe between the voices, so is that... Is that something that you work on to make it that way, or is that just a natural, what would you say? Well, we're both brothers, but not to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Twin sons of different yeah, mothers, I get it, yeah. 
Well, let's get back into the album. Let's listen to this. What they're playing for us here is pretty much the way it sounds on the record. So you're sort of hearing the record. The album is called Memories and Moments. This is a great tune called Time to Talk to Joseph. It's Daryl Scott and Tim O'Brien on the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio. on my side of the room You softly snore beside me As I make those figures dance Till finally I'm laughing at the random path of chance And it's time to talk to Joseph We're gonna pack my little sack There isn't much I really need to wander off the track I'll be sleeping under ledges and eating what I find and branches strum your heartstrings in my mind I think I'll head on up to North Bank Turn left on Campbell's Creek There's an old great man who lives up there There's a council now I see Those twisted nooks and crannies them hollers dark and deep They're calling to me in my dreams Whenever I can't sleep It's just time to talk to Joseph We're gonna pack my little sack There isn't much I really need To wander off the track I'll be sleeping under ledges And eating what I find I'll read the reaching branches Strum your heartstrings in my mind Tim O'Brien on banjo, Daryl Scott, blazing guitar. If you want to know more about Memories and Moments, their new album, you can visit our website. It's woodsongs.com. If you click on the archive page, we'll give you all the information that you need to know about their new release and tour schedule, as well as our next uh, guest, who's a wonderful fella. He's one of the uh, foundation members of Allison Krauss and Union Station. It's his first time on our broadcast, and we're really glad that he's here. He's got a brand new album. He's going to play the uh, title cut to this new work. It's a solo project of his. This is a tune called Walking Song. Please welcome Ron Block to the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio.
Would you walk a while with Farmin' John on the road to Fennel Fair for a love that laugh of a ginger lass with a thistle in her hair? Freckled girl makes a friendly sight Might have bought half your smile You're soft as stars on a lonely night You're as light as a valley mile Plow the furrows, find my love Break the fields of clay The turtle dove has made her fight You stole my heart away You stole my heart away Oh, walk away Well, I've walked a many single mile I've known the morning gray I've planted in the waning moon I've worked the lonely clay A man who passes twenty years In the company of one Holds the harmony of a ginger lass Like the light of heaven's sun Plow the furrows, find my love Break the fields of clay The turtle dove has made her fight You stole my heart away You stole my heart away Oh, walk a while with farming John Sing away the wander blue For the way it grows young When a freckled girl shares a walking song with you the way it grows young when a freckled girl shares a walking song with you <laughs> title cut from his Brand new solo project, Walking Song. Let's say hi to Ron Block. Ron, it's nice that you're here for the first time. Glad to be here. Thank you, Tanya. So let's start probably what everybody would like to know is how did you become a member of uh, Union Station with Allison Krauss? How did that happen? Because you replaced another very prominent uh, banjo picker. Yeah, you know, it was in those early, uh, early to mid and late 80s. I started meeting all those guys and... You know, you play, when you play bluegrass, you play in regional bands, and you kind of meet other players, and then you like other players, and then you say, hey, let's go, let's go jam, and you do all that kind of stuff for, you know, five, ten years, and you end up with some collaborations. So it just ended up when they needed a banjo player, I'd played sufficiently and jammed sufficiently with them that they wanted me to play with them. So, well, it's nice you yeah. made a, a, a great member of the band. Everybody yeah. knows who you are. It's been a great, it's been a great 20 years. So where I'm leading with all this, though, is you're with one of the preeminent uh, uh, music groups in the world, really, and, and now you're stepping out to do a solo project. So that's a, that's a different kind of karma for you, isn't it? It's not like just a normal guy putting out his album. You, you, you're, you've got a thing going on. Yeah, it's, it is. It's very different being the guy in the center, you know, and, and being the guy that's singing lead and all that stuff. So there's a learning curve for me. I've been a sideman for, you know, years and years on different people's projects, and it's, it's, that's, a, that's easy, you know, for me. Uh, the other isn't. Do you much. end up scrutinizing yourself more so because that there's a certain amount of reputation, fame to what you're doing with, as a group member, now you're out solo. Does it make you overanalyze what you're doing? I think I've always had the tendency to overanalysis. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't think that's anything really new. But, uh, yeah, um, 
I don't think that really has much to do with it as much as just, you know, hearing great people sing and, and really wanting to do well like that. So, yeah. Well, you're here with some great folks. You've got Mark Fain on bass, and one of the rising stars of bluegrass, Sierra Hull, is here. <laughs> nice to see her back again. And Ron, didn't you, uh, didn't you produce uh, Sierra's uh, most recent album? Her uh, first record. Her first actually. record, yeah. yeah. So, so you're, you step out as songwriter, your sideman, your solo artist, your producer, and you tend to write a lot uh, text-wise. And on a blog, on a, on a website, you met a poet. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about the poet? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, she uh, was very smart on this Rabbit Room website. I write for a site called The Rabbit Room. And so there are these discussions that go on of anything from movies to theology. And, uh, but her comments were always really, really smart and to the point. And, uh, and I, so I, one, one day I looked at her blog, and there was a bunch of poetry on there. So... Uh, we talked about theological topics for a while, on and off, in these comments. And at one, some point, I'm not sure when, she said, do you want to try to write some songs? So it worked out pretty well. Now, she became your co-writer on your new album. Yeah, she wrote all the lyrics on my new record. So the lyrics that we're hearing on our show, because you're doing these, ne these two songs are from the new album. Yeah. These are her lyrics, your music. Yes. Well, let's get into it. The new album is called Walking Song, and this is a beautiful tune called Ivy. It's Ron Block on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Ivy, don't you pine? Ivy, don't you brew? Ivy, I can't ramble on, I'm running home to you. Walk the ground road, walk the next one too. Singing to the skies above, sweet memories of you. I'm a long, long way from West Virginia. Chasing dreams through the lonely city lights. And I long for the music of your laughter in the night. I be I can't ramble on, I'm running home to you. I be kissed me twice, like you used to do. I be wine your love around the love I bring to you. I be make me strong, I be make me new. I be meet me in the morning running home to you. I'm a long, long way from West Virginia, chasing dreams through the lonely city lights. And I long for the music of your laughter in the night. I be, I can't ramble on, I'm running home to you. Oh, I long for the music of your laughter in the night. I be, I can't ramble on, I'm running home to you. I be, I can't ramble on. Great Ron Block with songs from his new album, Walking Tall. We're also here on our broadcast with two wonderful singer-songwriters performing together, Daryl Scott and the great Tim O'Brien. We're going to be back with more music, more conversation in the second half hour. Stay right where you are. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Allison Krauss, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Hey, thank you very much, Allison, and welcome everybody to the historic Lyric Theater here in our home of Lexington, Kentucky. We're broadcasting worldwide on over 500 radio stations. We're on American Forces Radio Network in 173 nations, every military base and U.S. naval ship at sea. We want to say hello to the hundreds of thousands, the millions of people that tune in around the world. 
Here is a beautiful album that two friends have put together. The CD's called Memories and Moments. This is my personal favorite song on the album. Listen to the words. It's a beautiful piece of music. It's Brother Wind by Daryl Scott and Tim O'Brien on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Made up my mind to go someplace so far away. I headed west without a sad goodbye, no hugs or tears that way. Probably for the best. Sent cars along the way, said I was looking for a brand new life, but I'd never settled down. My wanderlust would always cut the ties like a knife Sometimes it goes somewhere It calls out just like it knows me And on a night like this When I don't know where to go It shows me the way Cause he knows So afraid that I'd be caught behind. Follow the crooked stream, places I've never been, and one more highway sign. And I'm like some other guys, I might count the hours till the day will end. But it's not so I can rest, it's me, it's the time that's best for talking to my friend. He knows me gone. The only home I ever had is open road. My skin's all cracked and brown. I'm mirrored to the desert ground and the dusty wind that always seems to blow. And I never made a mark. I just scattered footsteps on the shifting sands. Whatever pushes me, something only he could ever understand. Tim O'Brien's song, beautiful. Brother Wynn from a wonderful album called Memories and Moments. So Tim, t t we're about to get into a song that you and Daryl uh, wrote together. And, and last time Daryl was here was with uh, Amy Lou Harris, a wonderful show about uh, that, that touch with mountaintop removal. And oh. So getting messages into the, the song lyrics and stuff, I mean, that's... Uh, it can be a great thing or it can be a hurtful thing. 
So how do you balance, when you're, when you're doing a song like this, how do you balance it out so that it reaches the right people? Michael, I don't really know, um, I can't speak for any, anyone else really, but I know that uh, it seems like the best I can do is just to tell a story about something that everybody can, they already kind of know about it. You just kind of bring it forward. They kind of it's in the back of their mind, and, and when you when you get a good song lyric together, it's something that everybody sort of already knows about, and they're they're just kind of you give them a chance to think about it for the three minutes or four minutes of the song, and um, you know this song just tells the story of the guy who's operating the machinery to blow off a mountaintop, and uh, you know so that you can uh, turn your lights on at night. Mm -hmm. So, so you're you're from West Virginia. You're from the mountains. So yep. you, you have an appreciation for the earth and the mountains. What they mean, Daryl. You're from the mountains of Kentucky. Yeah, and, I am. And you were part of a show that we did that uh, that talked about that. So as as this song is is taking shape between you and Tim, you know what's going through your heart. What's going through you as a, as a writer? What what are your contributions and infusion into the song as we're about to hear it? Well, we wanted to tell this story because of, uh, you know, Tim from West Virginia, me from Kentucky, and both states are the two uh, states that are, we're blowing up our mountaintops more than any other states in the mm -hmm. Union. And um, we thought we had to talk about this and write about this. Um, and uh, so we sat out at my uh, cabin out, uh, oddly enough, my cabin in, in Tennessee faces uh, uh, a mountaintop that was was removed uh, in the 30s. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's called Bear Knob, and um, and we were sitting there, and uh, I had the idea uh, that I wanted to write with Tim. I knew that we could sort of wrestle it together with uh, the line "Keep your dirty lights on." Um, I know there's a slogan out there with something like that, yeah. but uh, we wanted to kind of put. Uh, tell the story from the guy running the machine, you know, because it's a job for him. Yeah. But it's also a lineage, because uh, I have uh, coal mining in my background, um, you know, 80 years ago. That's what my family did in Harlan County. And so we kind of put that also in this character's um, history, too. He comes from coal mining, and instead of going down into the mines like they did, you know, my grandparents' time, uh, he uses uh, big machinery on top of a mountain. And it is big machinery. It's huge, that stuff that they use. It's, it's hard to talk about the, the subject while making sure that you're not anti the people who are just doing their job, because they need jobs out there. Yeah, but yeah. The, uh, the effect of things is so damaging to the earth. So yeah, the water down below, I mean, water goes downhill. Yeah. And so, uh, the poison, the, things, the poison goes with it. Yeah, and so we see that. You know, I've seen a lot of videos and and movies and read a lot and seen pictures. You know, about the water going downhill. It's going to have some effects down below, and a lot of times those people down below don't have a voice, so to speak. I mean, they can they just turn on the tap and hope for the best. What's going to come out? For those of you that don't know what mountaintop removal is, that don't know what the issues are, listen closely to the words of this song. It's a beautiful piece. It's off their album called Memories and Moments. The song is called Keep Your Dirty Lights On. It's Daryl Scott and Tim O'Brien on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Well, my daddy came from coal dust. Me, I'm about the same. If you've read King Cole's ledger book, then you've seen my family name. It used to take a camp of miners to load that train and go. Now there's four in my crew, and we do what we do to keep your dirty lights on. Keep your dirty lights on. Keep your dirty lights on. If you got money in your pocket and a switch on the wall, we'll keep your dirty lights on. Mm -hmm. My daddy worked in darkness. Me, it's in broad daylight. I can blow a whole seam like my daddy never dreamed using Nobel's dynamite. Is cool in these mountains. Gonna burn it up with this burn it. We can't stop blowing mountains off. We gotta keep your dirty lights on. Keep your dirty lights on. Keep your dirty lights on. If you got money in your pocket and a switch on the wall, we'll keep your dirty lights on.
every time they have elections they talk about coal is clean well coal is cheap but coal still black it ain't never turning green so plug your electric car in charge it good and strong and do your shopping online we'll get you every time just to keep your dirty lights on Switch on the wall, we'll keep your dirty lights on. Yeah, keep your dirty lights on. Keep your dirty lights on. If you got money in your pocket and a switch on the wall, we're gonna keep your dirty lights on. Keep them on. Great song from a great album, Memories and Moments by Daryl Scott and Tim O'Brien. If you want to know more about this album, all the music that you hear on Wood Songs, just go to woodsongs.com. Click on the archive page. That's where you'll find a lot of the information. This is show number 736. We're broadcasting from Australia to Ireland, New Zealand to New York, Yuma, Arizona, to the Yukon in northern Canada. And our next guest, we can't have him here unless he picks up the ding-dang banjo, which is exactly what he's doing. He's going to play a banjo medley as a treat to the Wood Songs audience. Please welcome him back. It's Ron Block on the Wood Songs, Old Town Radio.
Thank you. Ron Block on the banjo. And wasn't uh, Sierra Hull just awesome on that mandolin? Mark Fain on the bass. Good job, Mark. So, Ron, the, uh, the, uh, the journey that an artist takes, there, there's, a, there's a certain search when, when an artist uh, sets out to find their own music, their own passions and stuff. What happened to them in the past usually shapes the road they take toward their music. And that was sort of the case for you. The things that happened to you in the past uh, put you on a journey to find you, the, the spiritual side of your, of your music. And it kind of started with your dad. Yeah, uh, when I was young, my parents split up, and uh, and it eventually worked out that you know I saw my dad in the summer for a month and at Christmas for you know. A what few does that weeks. do to a five-year-old boy? Well, it's it's I was about I think that I was about seven by then, and I was living up in Northern California. You know, it it just gives you a sense of absence. You know, uh, it gives you a real sense of not having someone there. Is this sort of like a constant ache? You know, your dad's not there. You kind of yeah. I think when you're young, I, I don't think you even know that when you're young. But I think I think it, you know there are, there are uh, elements of that. Well, as he performs this song, try to feel the emotion that maybe Ron felt as he was learning how to interpret uh, his own feelings through music. This is from an upcoming CD of his. The tune is called "Till He Bids Me Travel On." It's Ron Block on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Island. As I onward go on the path of fame, many doubts and fears have their day. But the Lord who leads is so sweet to me, and he bids me travel on. I have seen the joy in my mother's eyes as she saw the lord call her home and she gave that joy to this traveler's heart till he bids me travel on oh the sting of death died for me there's no fear for Jesus hath set me free And I'll trust his love with each dawning day Till he bids me try When I leave this path of childlike faith When my mind is full of worried cares Just a word from God turns my heart again And he bids me travel on Oh, the sting of death died for me there's no fear for Jesus has set me free And I'll trust his love with each dawning day Till he bids me travel on Wasn't it great having Ron Block on our broadcast? Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Sierra Hull. Wasn't it great having Sierra Hull here? Two wonderful friends with a wonderful album, Daryl Scott and Tim O'Brien. We're so glad that they could be here as well. 
It's a brilliant piece of work. You know, the, the front porch nature of s the simple music is the most powerful music of all. When two friends can get together and, and sit in a little cabin and look at a mountain that was destroyed decades ago and write a powerful song about it, just two friends with two instruments. It's such a powerful thing when Ron Block could learn as a young boy how to interpret his feelings uh, through loss and through a search of, of, of music and art and, and his spiritual nature and stuff, and he's able to do it on the stage with just his guitar and Sierra on a, ma on a mandolin. It's the, it's the simplicity, that front porch simplicity of Roots music becomes a very powerful, powerful message. It's what you do on your living room couch with your children. It is that same power that you can have in your own home on your own front porch. It's available for everybody who's willing to pick up an instrument with three chords in the truth and to do something wonderful. In the 1920s, there was a, a music publisher. His name was, his name was Frank uh, Litt Littig. Let me get his name right. And he said that if you look at all the music in the world, a few chords strummed on a good instrument does more to change the world than all the politicians on the planet. We believe that, and I want you to exercise that same freedom of simplicity in your own homes. Get an instrument, learn to play. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer, I'm a log cabin dweller, and we'll see you next week on The Woods Song. Good night. You've been listening to Wood Songs Podcast number 736. Michael's opening song was Patch and Stirs of Plenty from the Wood Song CD featuring Melissa Deaton on vocals, Jeff Hirschberger on cello, Maggie Lander and Sarah Payne on violin, Steve Franken on viola, and AJ Doherty on bass. Thank you for tuning in. There are so many talented artists that appear on our stage. It's very hard sometimes to pick the ones that appear on our TV broadcast. So what we're going to do is leave you with a performance from our huge online archive of past shows. We'll see you next time on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Would it be true to say you go to my head? Or is that sentimental, Frank? I could say you make it sweet to go to bed, but then it's you that breaks the bank, and I hey, am afraid to need you so, and I hey, am too sober not to know that you may be my Closed captioning provided by Highbridge Spring Water. Wood Songs is made possible by VisitLex.com, providing information and activities to visitors of historic Lexington, Kentucky. The Martin Guitar Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, making handcrafted acoustic guitars since 1833. The Deering Banjo Company, providing American-made banjos for front porch pickers and professionals online at DeeringBanjos.com. And by Fransky String Instruments of Prairie Village, Kansas, online at MFStrings.com.